¿No eres de las que sube videos? TikToker. ¿Cómo? ¿No subes videos a internet en el... En sí, viaje? sí. Good morning internet, it is 7 o'clock in the morning and welcome back to the channel. You can hear the roosters going crazy in the background. I am now in Real de Catorce in Mexico. Alaska is parked right across the street in that parking, but they only open the gate at 8 o'clock. So I have one more hour before I can leave and the power just went off. So my room was dark inside, so I was like, I just go outside. So yeah, I'm just trying to find a breakfast so that at least at 8 o'clock I can immediately go because I have an extremely long day ahead of me. I will have to ride over 600 kilometers today, uh, which is not ideal. And the reason for that is that I am in Mexico and things are a little bit different here. Um, since I arrived in Mexico, I, I have uh, several contacts here, which is great. And normally, the way I do route planning is I kind of research an area, think, okay, this might be interesting, this might be interesting, and then I look on the map for the smallest road, I plot it, and off I go. But here in Mexico, you just can't do that because some areas are just really dangerous. So I have been checking most of my routes, <laughs> not all of them, to be honest. The routes that I took to get here in the last video, I didn't check with anyone. But I figured that should be fine, which it was. But the route that I was planning to take from here, I thought I better check with them if it's okay. So I sent a message to my contact with the route, um, saying this route through Zacatecas, is it okay to ride? Do you know this area? So a couple of minutes later he replies and he says, I just asked a friend because I don't know that area very well. Not only they tell me not to go there, it's very dangerous cartel activity in progress. So I said, okay, I should take the main road then towards Durango. Is the main road is okay, right? And then he said, yeah, you must take the boring line to Durango. And he said, yeah, the main road is okay on the day, but do not ride after 6 or 7 p.m. So I said, okay, no, I, I never really ride after 4 p.m. Um, so, yeah, he said he also wrote to somebody else uh, that lives in that area that used to ride the trails that I was planning to, and he said he used to, he doesn't do it anymore because it's just too dangerous. So, yeah, instead of riding 400 kilometers over beautiful trails in a nice area, I am going to ride 600 kilometers on the highway and completely drive around it. So that will be just a full day of just ride, ride, ride. And I don't know that highway. If it's just highway, I should be able to make quick progress. But if it goes through towns and you get all the speed bumps and traffic lights and I don't know what else, then yeah, that's massively going to slow me down. So let's see what, uh, what happens. And also I cannot really leave early. So it's gonna be a bit of a challenge today. And I think very boring for me, <laughs> personally, but it is what it is. And this is just uh, Mexico and yeah, I, I have to be careful with this type of stuff. Anyway, yesterday I asked some of the locals here, is there a place to have a breakfast at like 7? And they said, no, everything is closed. And the first place opens at 7.30. So I thought, okay, I'm just gonna walk down. Maybe there's like somebody with a little food stall. I'm hoping that I can uh, find something. But yeah, I just wanna be, at eight o'clock, I just wanna have all my bags ready, stand at the gate, load up Alaska and off I go. I will take the map out. I forgot to take the map of Alaska. So um, I can't point you uh, now, kind of uh, what's going on. But uh, I'll, I'll do that just before I leave, quickly show you, and then um, off I go. Nobody here. Okay, so I managed to find a coffee and a pastry. 
That was all the <laughs> food that I could find. It seems like the town is only now just slowly waking up. There are not early birds here. Anyway, it's quarter to eight. We're still on schedule. So uh, now I'm quickly going to um, put all my bags ready so that uh, right at the gate where they open. So it's eight o'clock. I am here with all my stuff, but it's still closed. Still nobody here. It's now 10 past eight. I'm losing precious time here. Uh, I hope he really comes soon because yeah, it is gonna be such a long day. I don't know if I'm gonna make that actually. Maybe I'm too Dutch for these things. When somebody says they'll open at eight, then I think it opens at eight. <laughs> but that's not always the case, of course. My bad. Okay, let's quickly have a look. Where am I? Where am I? I am over here at the moment. So in the last video, I kind of came this way and then like that. And basically my plan was to cut straight through Zacatecas, straight through this area towards this side, but that is highly not recommended. So now I'll be riding up this road, main road, and then here, and I'm planning to go to Mapimi, Mapimi, but it might be too far. So maybe I'll have to stop just before Torreon. But if I can, I'll try to make it just past this big town and stay over here. Ready, ready. Oh, the key. Oh, I forgot I also need fuel. <laughs> it's one of them days. Una consulta, hay un gasolinera acá. Bajando, saliendo el túnel. Ajá. Unos 10 minutitos. Después del túnel. Saliendo, sí. Ah, ya, ya. Ok. Perfecto. Gracias. Ok. The other side of the tunnel, there's fuel. This is the church. It's a very cute town, hey? Very cute. Oh, oh no, I'm wrong. I'm not. Can I even go there? Where is it? Stairs. No, I'm wrong. Then. This is a very cute town, <laughs> I gotta say. Sitting at uh, almost 3,000 meters. It's awesome, right? This way, through the tunnel. Okay, here comes the traffic from the other side. Yes. Gracias. Oh, this 
goes a lot faster than uh, on the way in when I was behind that truck. This is much better. There's it. Back on the other side. Now find the petrol station. Feliz viaje! Bon voyage! Yes! Okay, please let it be open. Yeah, I think so. Buenos dias, señor. Uh, lleno, por favor, con uh, verde. Sí, gracias. Necesito lleno, 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 porque voy por Torreón. Lejos. Sí. sí. Ya viene el Real. Sí. ¿Usted desde acá? De aquí, Potrero. Ah, ya. Potrero, la luz, Real. Ah, es un área increíble. Sí. Lindo. ¿Usted es de Torreón? ¿Es de Torreón usted o va para Torreón? No, soy de Holanda. So I filled up to the top, put some music on, let the road trip begin. Okay, I gotta say, this landscape is pretty impressive. This entire plain over here, it's just full with these trees. What are they? Cacti or I don't know what they are. But until the mountains in the distance, it's full of them. Crazy, right? And well, if I would have been riding where I wanted to, I would be heading through that and over those mountains. But now, I'm gonna have to ride all the way around. That's why it's such a massive, massive ride today. There's almost nobody on this road either. I don't know what that means. Checkpoint. Nobody home? Oh no, they're over there. or something. Hola. ¿De dónde vienes? Holanda. ¿Holanda? Sí. ¿Desde allá? Sí. No, ¿eres originaria de Holanda? Sí. ¿Y pero de, de, de dónde vienes? ¿De qué país vienes? ¿Tú estás en, en moto? Sí. <risa> Estoy tres años y medio en el camino de moto. ¿Cómo le has hecho para cruzar? Pongo mi moto en avión desde Europa hasta Sudamérica. Y desde Argentina hasta acá estoy en moto. ¿No eres de las que sube videos? TikToker. ¿Cómo? ¿No subes videos a internet en el en Sí, viajes? sí. ¿Y esta te ha aguantado todo ese trayecto? 
esta moto? No, todo, no, no todo en esta moto, porque antes de pandemia tenía otra moto, pero por la pandemia tengo que dejar esta moto en Perú y fui por Europa y África y después volví con esta moto. ¿Y tú solo andas así en todo el... Sí. ¿Y ahorita para dónde vas? Fui por Torreón. ¿Para Torreón? Es, es muy... Hoy es muy un día larga porque vení desde, ¿cómo se llama ahora? Uh, 14, Real de 14. Ah, Real de 14. Y mi plan era cruzar por Zataquenas, Zapaquenas. Pero tengo unos amigos aquí en México y ellos me dijeron es peligroso en las montañas. Entonces me dijeron toma la ruta princip principal. ¿Esa es más segura? Sí. ¿Y, ahorita, ¿Y a qué país vas? A Alaska. ¿Alaska? Sí. ¿Vas a cruzar todo Estados Unidos en esta? Sí. ¿Qué moto es? A un Honda. ¿Honda? ¿Pero qué, qué cilindraje? 300. ¿Esta se enfría con radiador o con líquido? Eh, con líquido. ¿Líquido? Sí. Tengo que ir, <ríe> porque todavía es muy lejos. ¿Pero tú originaria de dónde eres? Yo soy de Holanda. ¿Holanda? Sí. ¿Y, y si te dejan cruzar Estados Unidos o por, por tienes visa? Tengo visa. Ah, ya. Sí. Está muy bonita. Muy bonita. <ríe> Gracias. <ríe> ok. Now they are taking my precious time. <laughs> I don't have time to chat and talk about my journey. I need to go. It's 11 o'clock and I have 400 kilometers to go. And so, vamos, vamos. Wow, that guy had some serious weapons on him. At least I don't have to stop for another chat. That's good. I just uh, added another 12 kilometers to my ride because uh, I had to fill up because I looked at the map and it was another 140 kilometers till the next petrol station because I was just riding on the highway there and I was thinking ah, I don't know if I'll make that because my fuel economy obviously goes down the faster I go so I just rode into town here so I could fill up and uh, but yeah that was six kilometers <laughs> into town here and now six back anyway it is a uh, Just past 12 o'clock and I still have 322 to go. So I'm almost halfway. So it's fine, it's fine. I'm uh, making good progress. The only thing is I will have to find some food at some point. Because now I just keep on going on one coffee and one pastry that I had in the town this morning. there's anything to eat here is there something that looks closed Restaurant. There's a truck here, so in the car. Hi. Hola. Hola. Es un restaurante. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I 
think I just had lunch in a restaurant disguised as a brothel or maybe it was the other way around <laughs> it says on the door it says open 24 hours with little hearts drawn on it hola either way moving on adios ciao to uh, Mapini. I did it! <laughs> it's just after four o'clock now. What a crazy day. Alaska and I have just been going in absolute beast mode. Tarmac beast mode today. Oh, 600 k's. Can you believe it? <laughs> anyway, I am going to end this video now because I'm gonna need to find a place to stay, put all my stuff down. So I just wanna focus on that and not worry about the cameras anymore. Look at this, my Pimi. So that was it for today. I hope you still like this video, even though it was a little bit boring. But hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, anyway, if you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, then I'll see you in the next video. Is this a hotel? Yes, it's a hotel. <laughs> Seems to have room for me.